a wounded woman. Thrown out of her husband's house. With seven months old pregnancy. Languished in sorrow. Toiling on the rain and sun. Till the birth of the lonely child. She struggled with her little daughter. Still wailing as a load of suffering swallows her beauty and smile. even when the sun was yet to set on her. I grew rendering my assistance to my weak mother, who sat to welcome my little efforts by the road. Thereafter, retiring to an uncompleted resident. She suffered and died of excessive cold as a result of poor accommodation. Was that not enough for a man to have allowed me wait for the sun to rise at my fortune?
took me in and stopped me from selling. He gave me a new life. A life I thought was God sent. Not knowing it was a snare of destruction. Who will believe my story? Who will see reasons with me? Who will pay my ransoms? Even the magistrate is blinded by the law. His son, his son rides on me every night with a gun and threatens to kill should I make noise. Every month, his son forced me just to hide this dirty act. I lived in pains of constant abortion. I was happy the night his father came into my room. Thinking I could table my problem. No. 
not knowing he was dead to take his own share of the free cake. I could not bear the pains anymore. My groaning could not help. So, I decided to defend myself. I turned to the bottle he came in with. I used it on him. I could not bear the pains. Any longer. Mr. Clems helps me. And mothered me slowly. I knew I was vulnerable and took advantage of my weakness. I lost it all. I needed a mother. To confide in. But she was nowhere. Sonia, I believe your story. I believe everything you have said. Hi. Hi, darling. What's up? I'm fine. So you're carrying all this thing. What do you want to do with them? I just want to make my beautiful like a sister. Uh, but hold on. Hope you're not planning to give me a boyfriend. Hey, Jesus. <laughs> this guess what? I have gist for you. Okay. You see that guy you gave me to daddy? Hey, God, that guy is annoying. I don't like those kind of guys, so please, ah. <laughs> Mm. But I he's don't. cute. Cute scare. Mm -hmm. eh, 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 I don't want that kind of can snow. Eh. I can't stand it that big. No, 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 no. Okay, okay. even if you were not Fort Belly, <laughs> not that yeah, yeah, my brother Deo Jesus. I hated that man God. See Port Belly. <laughs> no, no, no. I don't like this one. It's just my face. Okay. Who taking? Hello, my lord. I'm fine, thank you. But my lord, thorough investigation is supposed to be carried out before your final judgment. Yes, I have met with the accused already, but 
Hello, my lord. Hello. Hope all is well. <laughs> Injustice everywhere. My dear country. <laughs> You'll be fine. <laughs> Please make me up, Jerry. Let we, need, we are going there, right? I know. Yeah, Please of make me up. Ah. I need to go get some things off my head. And secondly, hope we'll see that DJ guy. That guy is so oh, cute. Oh, my, my sister loves them cute. <laughs> so nice. Light makeup will be I going. I know. How do you put cope with this on your face for long, self? Just be quiet. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hey darling, what's up? I'm fine. How are you? I'm fine. Most beautiful lawyer in the world. Mm, <laughs> Someone give me this for you. Oh, really? Thank you. Mm. So how was your day? Very fine. How was yours? Fine, fine. Just resting. Did you cook? Okay. Mm. Alright. I'll take you out. Just <laughs> making my Hope this letter got you in safe condition. This is directly from the superior authority. The case in the court is between the family of former senator in the state and a nobody. In that envelope is a check of 15 million for you as a renowned practitioner whose reputation cannot be questioned. No matter how through that girl's story is, before the law court, those stories are framed up. What? So, no. it is a win case for Senator Clement. Are you okay? So this is the faith of a common man. The court is supposed to be our only hope as ordinary citizens. After all she has been through, this is it. Injustice. Injustice for the poor. Well, the court has given his judgment. There's nothing I can do. I can't risk your life or the life of any member of my family. So, I just believe it is the will of God. Yes. Oh, the media. Counsel, what is your thought about today's judgment? Well, my Lord in his wisdom, 
has given his judgment, and it is now an extant law. Of a truth, my client is innocent, and the accused has taken laws into her hands. Regardless of whatever happens or whatever the accused has claimed, the law is the law, and no one is above the law. Therefore, whoever kills shall be made to face the law, hence the judgment. Why was she given a death sentence instead of a life in prison? as it was a self-defense act. The law is supreme and cannot be contradicted. The penalty for murder is death, and the penalty for manslaughter is life imprisonment, as the case may be. What happens if the defense counsel appeals this judgment? Well, we await them in court. Please, uh, let's go. Excuse me. No, I'm sorry. One other question for you. No, no, no. Just one final question for you, ma'am. Counsel, what do you think about today's judgment? Well, I will not question the decision of the court. However, it is a clear display of unfair treatment to the downtrodden. Will you appeal this judgment? Well, we we'll apply for the judgment. We we'll look at it. Then that will inform our next move. Counsel, how, how long will it actually take for you to appeal? Thank you very much. Okay, thank, thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Excuse me. Thank you. Thank you. Say your last wish on earth. I I wish I wish the Lord can see. The truth, even without evidence. I wish the voice of the poor can be heard for justice. I wish rapists pay for their crimes, not to their children. Lord, accept the soul of your daughter. May your soul find rest with the faithful departed. Name of the Father. The law has made me a legal mudra with license. I can stand the guilt to continue. I must say the truth. <laughs> 